Um, uh, you mentioned earlier that um, religion, uh, well, you were talking about altruism, but also you mentioned uh, 2,000 years of religion, that it's so intrinsically ingrained in, in cultures all over the world. And by um, uh, objectivism discarding re religion, um, don't you see that as a, as a huge obstacle to the, the spread of the objectivistic ideas just because people almost instinctively react ad adversely uh, to uh, concepts that discard religion? And uh, I want to say this um, uh, because I, for example, I believe in God, but at the same time I think that religion is a really bad thing. And do you think that it is a valid concept to think that um, uh, we can apply objectivism without giving up the idea of believing in God? Because uh, um, there are, we can look at God not as religion, but as separate from it, as an entity that created all these natural laws that rule our existence, and that objectivism is the most efficient way to live by those rules. <clears throat> um, no, I don't think it's possible to mix objectivism with any advocacy of the supernatural. And when you talk about a god who creates the world, you're talking about something that transcends the natural world the world that we know exists, that it is what it is, that obeys causal law. There's some entity sitting above this that controls that, that can change it at its will. <clears throat> if you actually believe that, then you have to deny that reason has validity because he can change the rules anytime. The only way you can know the universe is to know God and how he created it, which is what all the thinkers then focus their whole attention on. We have to turn our attention away from the natural world to its source and to its creator. And if you believe that, you've jettisoned, you jettisoned both reason and you jettison this world, this reality, where to focus by some non-rational means on some a superior dimension. <clears throat> so an objectivism is a philosophy that advocates reality as an absolute and reason as an absolute. The universe is all there is. It's what exists, it's where you live, and it's what you have to know in order to stay alive. And your means of knowing it is reason, period. So there's no room for the supernatural in such a view. Um, don't you find that um, a lot of the uh, concept, most advanced concepts in, in physics, uh, such as the unify, a unified uh, theory, uh, the unified force and uh, leads towards something uh, uh, per se unifying that could be defined by some as God? No. Um, <clears throat> and, I mean, leave aside the state of modern physics. No genuine scientific investigation into the natural world could lead you to posit a world that transcends and contradicts the natural world, which is what the supernatural world is. <clears throat> All that scientific investigation leads to is more knowledge of the natural world. So <clears throat> there's, again, no opening for a supernatural dimension. In I, that yeah, I guess I just identify the natural world with, with a trans transcendental uh, world, but that's, I guess. Yeah. I mean, we can talk about that after this, but <laughs> I mean, that's a complete contradiction. Mm. So. Thank you for your answer. Yeah.